Hello, I'm Jeff Hajek. I'm the owner and founder of Relaxion Continuous Improvement. Today I'll be talking about the Nine Square. Now, the Nine Square is a prioritization tool in lean problem solving that helps you organize your improvement ideas. After completing a brainstorming session in which you compile a large number of viable options, you have to decide which ones to actually implement. To use the Nine Square, rank each of your problems you identified into two categories, impact and ease of implementation. Then you create a three by three grid with low, medium, and high impact as a vertical scale. Hard, medium, and easy to implement go on the horizontal scale. Place your options into the appropriate boxes. At this point, there's gonna be very little hard information, but you should be able to make an educated guess as to which square each idea should fall into. The nine square gives a visual representation of where projects fall relative to each other. I normally code each idea with a letter and write the corresponding letters on the grid. Otherwise, in a big project, the nine square quickly becomes cluttered. Alternately, I use a large grid on the wall and place sticky notes in the appropriate location. You end up with something like this example. In some cases, the decision of which idea to try is not perfectly clear. You might have to choose between two very similarly valued proposals. For example, would you rather do a medium impact but easy project, like F here, or a high impact project that will require medium effort, like B. You will run into a few of these situations, but generally you'll end up with the most desirable projects being up at the top right and the worst being at the lower left. In this example, determining the sequence, except for the second and third spot, is a rather easy task. For the ones that are not crystal clear, you can always do a little research or you can just pick one. The cost of getting the perfect answer might actually outweigh the difference in the benefit between the two choices. Remember though, that this is a very, very, very rough prioritization tool. It's based on educated guesses and assumptions, so it should only be used in low risk or low cost situations. What I mean by this is that you shouldn't be choosing a new ERP using a nine square. You can, however, pick between a few locations for a parts rack or from among several ideas on how to improve phone service in a small call center. When the stakes are higher, you need a tool that is more data-driven. Okay, that wraps up this term. My name is Jeff Hajek. I'm the owner and founder of Action. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, like and subscribe down below. Um, as always, I'd like to finish up by saying best wishes on your continuous improvement journey.